क्लास ट्वेल्थ केमिस्ट्री यूनिट फोर्टीन बायोमोलिक्यूल्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स दैट इज डीएनए एंड आरएनए द पार्टिकल्स इन न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर हेरिडिटी आर कॉल्ड क्रोमोजोम्स व्हिच आर मेड अप ऑफ प्रोटीन्स एंड अनदर टाइप ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स कॉल्ड न्यूक्लिक एसिड्स there are mainly two types of nucleic acids first one is deoxyribonucleic acid dna deoxyribonucleic acid dna and ribonucleic acid rna okay since nucleic acids are long chain polymers of nucleotides so they are also called polynucleotides that is polymers of nucleotides chemical composition of nucleic acids nucleic acid is made up of pentose sugar phosphoric acid and nitrogen containing heterocyclic compounds called bases that is three components are there pentose sugar phosphoric acid and these bases in dna molecules the pentose sugar is beta d to deoxyribose whereas in rna molecule it is beta d ribose these are the structure of beta d ribose and beta d to deoxyribose actually at the if you compare the structure at the second carbon atom this okay one oxygen is less in case of deoxyribose and hence it is named deoxyribose okay in this case this oxygen is there at the second carbon atom but in second carbon atom there is no oxygen dna contains four bases namely adenine capital a guanine capital g cytosine capital c and thymine capital t rna also contains four bases the first three bases are same like adenine guanine and cytosine these are the same as in dna but the fourth one is uracil u that is in place of thymine uracil is there in rna after this discussion you must be able to write the structural difference between dna and rna okay in case of dna pentose sugar is 2 deoxyribose sugar in case of rna this is ribose sugar okay in dna the bases are adenine guanine cytosine and thymine while in rna adenine guanine cytosine and uracil is it clear now structure of nucleic acids a unit formed by the attachment of a base to one base position of sugar is known as nucleoside it means when a base is attached with the sugar whatever the compound obtained that is called nucleoside okay see this is nucleoside this is base and this represent the pentose sugar in nucleosides the sugar carbons are numbered as 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash etc in order to distinguish these from the bases okay like this is 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash and 4 dash when nucleoside is linked to phosphoric acid at fifth dash position of sugar moiety we get a nucleotide okay see this is fifth carbon of nucleoside and this is a phosphoric acid part simply we can say nucleoside contains sugar with base clear and when in this sugar plus base that is in nucleoside we add this phosphoric acid part then we will get the nucleotide okay nucleotides are joined together by phosphodiester linkage phosphodiester linkage between 5 days and 3 days carbon atoms of the pentose sugar see formation of a dinucleotide 
okay this represent one nucleotide and this represent another nucleotide okay and these two nucleotides are bonded through see this this is the fifth carbon atom okay this is the fifth carbon atom of this sugar and this is a part of one nucleotide and this is link through this phosphodiester linkage with third this carbon atom of this another unit of nucleotide clear A simplified version of nucleic acid chain is as shown below. That is, sugar is linked with this base, and this sugar is also linked with the phosphate. And this part, this part is repeated n times. Okay, and this represents the nucleotide. And when repeated n times, we will get the polynucleotide. That is, nucleic acid. information regarding the sequence of nucleotides in the chain of a nucleic acid is called its primary structure nucleic acids have a secondary structure also james watson and francis crick simply we can say watson and crick gave a double strand helix structure for dna okay double strand helix structure for dna you see this this represent the double helix double strand helix structure for dna two nucleic acid chains are formed that is coiled about each other and held together by hydrogen bonds between pairs of bases the two strands are complementary to each other that is if we know the sequence of bases on one strand we can find out the sequence of bases on Uh, bases on another strand because the hydrogen bonds are formed between specific pairs of bases adenine forms hydrogen bond with thymine okay that is this a is linked with t with double bond or we can say t is linked with a and cytosine forms hydrogen bond with guanine that is cytosine with this triple bond with guanine or guanine is linked with cytosine that is you can say that is this c is linked sorry g is linked with c a is linked with t again t is linked with a if we know this this pattern then we can find out this automatically because C is always linked with the G is always linked with the C and C is always linked with G and A and T are bonded to each other. Okay, that's why these two strands are complementary to each other. In secondary structure of RNA, single stranded helix is there. Okay, so again we can say this is the one another structural difference between DNA and RNA. DNA has double strand helix structure while RNA has single strand helix structure rna molecules are of three types and they perform different functions they are named as messenger rna m rna ribosomal rna that is r rna and transfer rna that is t rna three types of rna that is m rna r rna and t rna now biological functions of nucleic acids dna is the chemical basis of heredity okay that is responsible to pass the characters from one generation to another generation and may be regarded as the reserve of genetic information another important function of nucleic acids is the protein synthesis in the cell actually the proteins are synthesized by various rna molecules in the cell but the message for the synthesis of a particular protein is present in dna after this that is after the after the discussion of this biological function of nucleic acid again you must be able to differentiate between dna and rna on the basis of their functions okay actually dna is responsible for heredity while there is a no role of rna in heredity okay another one is dna give the message 
for the synthesis of particular protein clear but rna synthesize the protein these are the functional difference between dna and rna now dna fingerprinting it is known that every individual has unique fingerprints you know okay these occur at the tips of the fingers and have been used for identification for a long time but these can be altered by surgery a sequence of bases on dna is also unique for a person and information regarding this is called dna finger printing clear it is same for every cell and cannot be altered by any known treatment dna fingerprinting is now used in forensic laboratories for identification of criminals to determine paternity of an individual to identify the dead bodies in accident by comparing the dna's of parents or children to identify racial groups to rewrite biological evolution okay thank you subscribe my channel to watch all the videos i have prepared for class 12th thank you